Yes. Look at this. Good morning, guys. I should be wearing my mango sweat, but hey, I'm still in this gray thing. It's not very sunny today. The past couple of days have been really sunny. Today, it's a bit dull, but you know, we don't want the whole of the UK getting burnt. Whoa. Oops, mango flying everywhere. So the other day, um, when I went out, there were just so many people bright red. This is what happens in the UK. A bit of sunshine, the whole of the population just goes and sits outside and roasts and burns. And it's like, UV isn't great. Um, but hey, that's what happens in the UK because we don't get the sunshine very often. So people get a bit too excited. Wear your sun cream. I don't think today's gonna be that exciting. And to be honest with you, the majority of this term, to begin with anyway, until my exams, it's not gonna be too exciting. It's just gonna be quite like a chill day today. Doing revision. That's not really a surprise. Probably just eating a lot of good food. That's what gets me through my days. Welcome to today's vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Look at this mango though. Mm. I'm just gonna shove it in my coconut bowl and that way I might avoid getting yellow around my mouth. Actually, I am gonna get yellow around my mouth because I'm just gonna eat off the skin. Mm. Exciting thing today, I'm gonna get my dissertation bound, hopefully. I did all my checks yesterday. Literally checking everything takes longer than writing it. So I am just gonna go now to try and get my candidate number because I need to put that on my dissertation so it's like anonymous when I hand it in. And then I'm gonna go to the library to get it bound. So I've got my MacBook in my bag, which is why it's really heavy. I was just looking on Instagram and it makes me so happy because mum has finally started her vegan mutti account. I've been convincing her to do it. So she posted a picture today of her favorite vegan mayonnaise. I love it. It's gonna be the best account, vegan mutti. Cheeky little shout out, go and follow. I got my candidate number and I'm just gonna just gonna fill it in and then take it to the library and get it bound. Woohoo! Whoopie do. It's 6,000 words exactly. So I basically went to the library and they were like, you need to print it out first. So I was like, oh. Hence why I'm back in the printing room and I've never printed in colour so I'm having a bit of a stress trying to get this computer to work. This computer is so slow. Why is it asking me to? Okay, start using Word please. Ugh. one part of the binding then i have to get two copies so this is an expensive dissertation in terms of actual cost and brain power okay so i've just given them into the library i need to give them like 24 hours so the deadline's friday and it's tuesday so that's fine and they apparently email me when it's done that's exciting a bit stressful though i thought i was literally just gonna go and hand it in for them to print out and bind but no I forgot that i had to print it myself As I said, I thought my dissertation was not going to take that long, so it's kind of a bit late, but I'm drinking my smoothie now. This is my favourite combo at the moment. It's always green smoothies, like, they're my fave. Spinach, bananas, big load of flaxseed, a bit of almond milk, some frozen fruit to make it a bit cooler, water, obviously, to make it blend and not break the blender. I then add my Vivo Life, which I'm loving, not every day, but quite a bit, because as I said, I just really do love the way it's making me feel, and I just pour it into this kind of masony jar thing that I have with me at uni. Okay, so I've got some stuff to do on my to-do list, but generally today I'm going to be revising. Term doesn't officially start on Thursday, but it's not really a term term because I have no lectures this term at all. So it's very self-directed and it's essentially revision. So I'm going to get on. Um, I was working this morning, then interrupted by that stressful dissertation palaver. But yeah, now we're going to get back to working. <laughs> It's coming 
up to like 12 30 and i'm gonna finish these notes that i am going through you've kind of seen in the bits of the video this kind of wall thing behind me so i kind of started it the other day but it is my wall of work i think it sounds better saying wall of wisdom i'm starting to like put things on my wall that i kind of want to remember that's hopefully gonna you know channel into my brain i started using these push pin things but i realized that i don't have very many so i'm gonna start using some pink tack not blue tack gotta be pink tack and so i'm just gonna put these ones up now i'm kind of making semi sections and then once i have finished putting this stuff up i'm probably then gonna go on a run <gasps> ah! We are definitely gonna get through the yellow post-it notes a lot faster than the pink ones. My dad just called me and yeah, I've just finished those notes and then I'll have lunch when I get back. When I go running, I just put on like big random tops. I put on three quarters. I call them three quarters, is that weird? Basically, my family calls leggings that aren't full length three quarters. I don't know if anyone else calls it that. This thing I always run with, it's like my bum bag. Oh my god, it's so hot. Open the window. These are like the thickest leggings ever. My legs are boiling. I'm also not wearing kind of like, you know, sports socks. It actually makes a difference. My feet can't breathe. Not that that's very biologically accurate, but hey. And this baggy top because obviously it traps all the air. That physics knowledge. See, this is when I will sweat. When the weather is a bit hot and it's a bit humid and I'm wearing thick leggings. I'll do some abs and stretch out a bit of my room. And I will be filming like an ab workout and some other little home workouts for you guys to do like in your room. And be putting those on Instagram, as I said, when I get round to it. <laughs> Okay, so I just did a bit of abs and some other random bits. My mat is like so sweaty, I need to wipe it down. I just like follow my brother's playlists on Apple Music and my sister's. I have like one of mine. <laughs> Just made myself oats when do i not have oats let's be real but to be honest with you you know how much i love oats and also for me consistency is really key especially during like high stress periods i just like to have consistency i also you're probably gonna think i'm really weird but i have actually mentioned this before i have like salad so like celery and cucumber at lunchtime and i just kind of have it separately but not separately but hey you can think i'm weird it's fine you probably already think i'm weird also you're probably thinking is she not having a shower after she worked out i like cool down in my crop top when i'm making food and stuff and i'm just not a middle of the day shower person i shower in the evening and if that's bad that's bad but to be honest with you i don't feel sweaty anymore <laughs> I feel as if I'm making like the periodic table. It's going quite well. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna get something to eat. I also, I cleaned my retainers about like half an hour ago. It's so boring, I spared you <laughs> the details. So I wear retainers because I had braces and I wear them every night in bed. Um, and I tend to try and clean them every Sunday. But I forgot to do it on Sunday. So I did it today. It's so dull just talking about it. I'm just gonna stop. The struggles of retainers. Anyway, I am gonna get something to eat. I also took my bun out and made it a bit looser because it was like hurting my head. 
hunting for food. I love these yogurts and I know you can get it in bigger tubs. And my mum has tried to look for it but she couldn't find it. So she got me these ones because she knows that I love them before I came back because she loves me. So yeah, I know that they have an excess of plastic. But as I said, and I keep saying, I am working on this plastic thing and it's not going to happen overnight, but I'm trying. They're like the best yogurt. The thickness, it's just so good. I'm then probably going to do this washing up because it's piling up and then get back to doing some work. Yay! Okay, so I have just finished those notes and i am now going to go on a walk which is something i have been doing when i've been at home and i'm going to be doing it whilst i'm here because i like to get fresh air yes i've been outside but it really helps me to de-stress if i let go on a walk and i often bring with me some flashcards so i have been making a lot of flashcards and i tend to look through them when i'm walking just because it's really easy to just like flick through them that's the great thing about flashcards and it just changes up the scenery and it means that you're actively doing something when you're revising that helps instead of just sitting down and trying to take in information i am just going to say a thank you again and Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I normally mention courses about, you know, like note taking or studying or productivity, but I thought I'd mention that some of the courses on there can be really great for like stress relief. And one of those things is like art and doodling and drawing. I don't do a lot of it, but I've heard a lot of people say that if you draw things and stuff like that, it can help you relieve stress. And there are so many ways that you can relieve stress. So I think you need to find a way that works for you. If you're into the whole drawing thing, then definitely check Check out some of these courses which look pretty cool that's just one of the 26,000 courses they have there are so many others but yeah you can use it to get a bit creative because yes it's exam season but you know we shouldn't lose our creative drives if you want to sign up to Skillshare and get two months free from Skillshare you can click the link in the description box below the first 500 people to do that will get it for free yes you can then pay for a premium membership but if you sign up for the free trial it should notify you when it's coming to an end thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this and I'm now gonna go on a walk so all the cows you see over there all the cows are standing across the path and I don't think I'm brave enough to walk through them I always get attacked by these flies so annoying i love cows but i've been scared when i was a bit younger my sister and i were on a dog walk and that was just really scary instant with this cow like trying to charge My dinner was super quick today because when I go on a walk, I get so hungry and I just want to eat so much food straight away. A load of veg chickpea pasta, which is so good. The taste is just like on point. And then an avocado. Turmeric. And now it's complete. Um, do we want the light on? No. As a late Easter celebration, I didn't eat it on Easter Sunday. So I'm going to have some of it now. Ooh. My sister is trying to FaceTime me. One second, I'm like, we need to talk about this Easter egg. Oh, hello. The egg. Now, how am I gonna smash this? Oh my God, it's thick. It's what we like. Oh my gosh, let's try it. It's honeycomb, vegan honeycomb. Mmm. Guys, that is good. Me and probably do need the light on. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like if you did and subscribe if you're new, as always, all that stuff. And I will speak to you in another video, guys. Bye.